All work and no play makes Jane a dull girl, but today that's about to all change. The folks over at Zipline Gear sent us their Rogue Pro 150 foot zipline kit, and we have the absolute perfect place we're gonna put it up. We have an old 1800 homestead over on a neighbor's property that we have not shared with you guys yet. It's a beautiful location. We're gonna take this there, string it up above a creek, and uh, show you how we do it all. So come along with us. get down here by horseback. Feels good. All right, so here we are at the site of an old 1800s homestead. Uh, this is actually not on our property, it's on a neighbor's property. And right behind me over here was actually the home site uh, where the 1800s house used to be. And I'm gonna take you up there in a minute. Um, there's really nothing left, but uh, a, you could tell there was a, a double or dual chimney that had collapsed back there. But it was a small little house or cabin that sat up on that little ridge right there. They had this nice creek here to provide water and uh, to, to help cool the air. Um, and there's a little field that's behind the camera. It's in front of me that you can't see right now. I'll show you that in a minute. But um, this place would have been the ideal place in North Carolina for an 1800s homestead. And the reason for that is because, you know, when you're up north, you're looking for some way of uh, being able to, to heat your home via the sun. So solar heat, passive solar heat up up north. But down here in the south, you're going to be worried more about trying to stay cool. And so this is down here in the valley. It's next to a creek and uh, it's protected from the high winds and from the sun by being down here. But there's also, like I said, the field they cleared and uh, there would be a place for them to plant crops if they need, needed to. And uh, usually back in the 1800s, they let any kind of livestock roam free, but there also would have been a lot of hunting around here, really good prime hunting, and there still is to this day. So uh, our neighbors had turned this into like a little recreation spot and this is where we're gonna put our zip line. I don't know if you guys can see this, all the little sparkles in the water, but uh, actually this area of North Carolina is known for uh, having a lot of gold in this area and also a lot of quartz for emeralds and a lot of other gemstones. Now, of course, this isn't gold. If it was, we'd be panning right now. This is uh, iron pyrite and uh, mica and a lot of other minerals that are sparkling, but uh, it's just an interesting thing that, you know, who knows what could be buried in this creek and this old homestead. All right, so here are the original steps that lead up to the homestead. And this is what is left of what would have been a cabin with a dual fireplace, which has obviously collapsed, but I'll take you around to this side and show you the fireplace. Look at the size of this stone that they put in. And you gotta keep in mind, these guys had dug this out. I mean, cleared this, probably cleared this little area here by hand, and then dug all these rocks out and built this by hand. And uh, this is still the one remaining side of, of the fireplace. Probably full of snakes now, but I just think it's really cool. And anytime that I get frustrated and thinking about how complicated it is for us to get somebody up, contractors up to build our own house, I'm reminded 
of this little home site and other ones like it all along this area where you know these guys did this all by hand with no tools other than hand tools and all by themselves. All right, now I need to figure out a location. We have 150 feet of cable and a whole lot of math that I think we're gonna have to give to our resident engineer. Maximum allowable slope is 3%. Three foot drop per 100 foot of distance for zip lines that will not utilize a bungee brake. Uh, we will be using a bungee brake, however, maximum allowable slope there is 6%. Six foot drop per 100 feet of distance. <laughs> It'll be all right. Yeah. Look at, let the kids test it out. Yeah, they're just trying to hit me. Sorry, right. I threw a ball. I'll get over. you. I'll get you eventually. Wow, right. that's some heavy duty stuff. What do we got? Holy smokes! Look at this. A whole lot of hardware. That's some heavy duty stuff. Okay, that's Ooh. your uh, cable tensioner. Wow. Yeah. Ain't that much different yeah, I know than what a this is. Strap. That's your handlebars. Yeah. That would be cool. Whenever we get the pond, don't hook anything to it. Just like hang from that and then drop into the pond. How cool would that be? Just like. All right. What's what's that? That's, uh, that's the, the little... That's the trolley. Wheelie thing. Three, three eight cable. That's a sample. That's your sample. There's all the weight underneath. That's the brake. Oh. That's the bungee brake. Oh. And this is the harness. Best of both worlds. That's the bungee hardware backup. Why do we have glass for And this is the polyester lanyard. Oh, for connecting the uh, harness. Okay. Oh. Bungee there, block, stop block. Stop block, bungee block, and a reel of big 3 8 cable. Okay. Dang, mama. The tools. Hardware. Hardware. Yeah, it's not tools. This requires tools, though. We bring tools. We did not bring tools. Do we have tools? Are you prepared? Uh, I didn't even open the box before we got here. Man, there's some massive D-rings. That's what she said. Would you like to hold a D-ring? I mean, those things are stout. Well, it is a zip line. And Beaters. You, you, you are going to get on it, so you want some pretty stout stuff. Hey, look at that. Yeah, well, if you're not budding us, you wouldn't want to take a chance. That's either. right. You could pull a truck out of the mud with that. Why not? There's a nice carabiner. You know that. Where's your knife? A little more controlled than the machete. Wow. Man, that's that's cool. better than the stuff they gave us in the army. <laughs> Let me take a ride on your disco stick. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, that's what she said. What? No. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap, that is an amazing yeah, kit. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's designed to go downhill with a gun pouch and Probably magazine. Probably not. Well, I don't think Lara you're going to be going down the hill on that. You can't zip line with a Glock 19. Some stuff up, Gabe. <laughs> well, and that is why we have this. Voila. Oh. Look at that rope. Now that's fun. That adds a little that's excitement. Good. If you don't like grab hold of good enough, you're going down. Maybe? Uh, no, I think I have it on backwards. Nope, that's it. Well, where's this hook to then? You've got to tie a knot in that end. Yeah, you got it backwards. This is why they give us a book. That's kind of like a roughie. Oh. Mm. That thing will dock a ship. Or we could read the manual. That's always a novel idea. Oh yeah, 
It even tells you how to do the knot. Knot goes on the bottom. What kind of knots it tell you to tie? An eight. Figure eight? Mm-hmm. All right, so what is the plan now? I don't know, well, I, I got this far. Now it's up to you guys. Okay, We're now we, we have to measure and math some stuff. And uh, I'm just the brawn, not the brains. <laughs> I feel you. Is that how it goes? Yep. Me and Jeff. All right. There's some stuff work up. Yep. All right, let's do it. Oh. Oh, it's tight. That'll do pretty good. Okay. How much? 122. Is there a bigger tree back behind you? Yeah. Okay. We can trim those branches right there. And uh, I think it's pretty good, pretty good shot through here. Yeah. Everybody stay safe. No trees. We got one tree to the left here. We can do a little bit. If we wanted to move it this way a little bit, but it's not that much. So, I think we're good. I think we'll give it a shot and uh, see what happens. How did it appear? Anything you like to tie the rope? Okay, so we have the harness, well, the tree saver length of cable. We should have two of those. I'll take this over. Take one of those to the other tree. And we got the, that one for that tree. Because that's our end spot. And our starting point is going to be, let's see, where is it? All the way. Starting point's gonna be all the way in there across the creek. That's uh, what we say, 146 or 142 feet away. Uh, we have 150 feet of line. That should be a decent little trip across the creek. You might need to get on the other end of that. So you all all with that tree? We got one end on the starting point. Now we're going to use this tensioning kit to hook the ending point. All right, very similar to pulling wire on a fence. Right. Man, that thing's a beast. Yeah, it is a beast. <laughs> all right. Now we're uh, hooking up the landing end and to do that, we have to wrap the, uh, hook up this little winch tensioner to our dead end of cable here. And with a strap that they give you, which is cool. And we're just gonna crank that tight and connect it to the other tree saver on the other end. So that's what we're doing right there. Let me try and lift this up a little bit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was close. <laughs>
that close enough? Yeah, you're gonna have to hold this off the uh, tail light. You wanna? More. It's it's probably not too bad right there. Might not be. It might we, be pretty close. We can get, well, we can tighten it. What do you think? Hook it up. Re, you know, open it up and. Yeah, you could right. You can it adjust up. it again. Here. Here. Get that with my hole here, boy. Yeah. Heavy duty stuff. Two hundred sixty pound tension test. We. I will not touch the ground. Okay, that's forty pounds of sag. <laughs> not really, and I'm not saying my weight. We're I'll give you sixty if you got stuff in your pockets. We're halfway there. I do actually. See. 40.888 all right it's day two the first day we got uh we figured out a 150 foot location for this cable and we cleared cleared the branches and we ran the cable and we got it uh tied up and semi-tightened so today we need to finalize getting it tight and we need to get the trolley on get the stop blocks on and uh we brought the kids with us so we're going to test it out today let me use the seat can i go first These things are awesome. You put your U-bolts on. You want the U on the dead side, the dead end of the cable, not the live end. And you want this clampy part on the live end. Okay. I raised this up a little bit so we could get this pulled tighter and higher before we get these tree savers, before we release the tension on these tree savers. So I'm going to tighten this back up. Got our U-bolts tightened up. Now I gotta let this tension off of this onto this. This is way better than a ladder. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of platform to work off of. Yeah. Okay, this is the stop block. This is the... This is fixed onto the cable so that you don't slam into a tree. You slam into this instead. But hopefully, you are stopped before you get there. Okay, this is the bungee brake block. It's got the stop lock on. This slides on a bungee cord to slow you down if, if you're going too fast. So we're putting this on next. I didn't realize, but they give you all the wrenches you need too. It was in a bag that I didn't look at.
Alright. There's our brake. Yeah, they're back to this tree now. Over there to that tree, yeah. But you want down, right? Yeah. Like an add-on to the Rogue Pro kit. It's a little seat. So this comes up. Up here. And down here. There you go. Five inches. Flat. Alright. And here's the trolley. Put that on there and we're in business. She's gonna get the rope. That's kinda high. Sit on it! Do it. Wait. Yeah, let's try that. Should be a little faster. So you lowered it a bit? We lowered it about two feet. Uh, I think it's just about perfect. We're gonna try it next. Yeah. Adios, amigo. It's, it's been nice. nice knowing you. That's not that scary. <laughs> So what'd you find? I found a spoon. Wait. That. I found a spoon in this thing. That's an old knife. Huh. That was definitely an old spoon. Cool. Fun though, isn't it? Oh, also when you're getting off too. Yeah, that has some speed. <laughs> Little tip: whenever you are using a zip line, um, I was zip lining up in the Adirondacks and also in Costa Rica on a couple different courses. Zip lines 
really fun. I love zip lining. But now, and now we have our own kit. But a uh, little thing to keep in mind is never ever put your hand in front of the trolley or <laughs> on the trolley. And always make sure that your hair is tied back or you have a hat on or something because the last thing you want is for your hair to be blowing and get wrapped up into that trolley and then you'll get scalped. But uh, that about wraps it up for our zip line video. Uh, we got her up and running. Needs a few tweaks here and there. We need to figure out a better retrieval system. Uh, and also figure out how to keep this cable out of the way because uh, that's, that could be a danger. And that's actually listed in the, um, as a warning in the manual too to make sure this stays out of the way. So a few tweaks here and there, but we'll be rocking and rolling. We're gonna have some little kids coming up over the 4th of July that are gonna be using the harness. And then at some point in the future, whenever we get our pond built, uh, we have handlebars and we are going to use that to like come out of the trees and drop into our pond and uh yeah, that's something to look forward to right after the house um if you guys are interested in the zipline kit i know they have a special going on until the end of june i'm going to leave a link to that down in the description uh thank you zipline gear for sending us this we're gonna have a lot of fun down here so see you guys in the next video what are you doing redecorating <laughs>